and welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's right, he's finally dead. This was a little free game they released. I think it's like two, two hours long, so there'll be multiple parts of this. This was a game they released for April Fools, so let's check it out. And it's free, it's completely free. You can go download it on Steam right now. I've got a cup of coffee as well. Okay, dot dot dot. Phew, made it onto the train, 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good. Uh, so far, so good um, for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should go make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is... Flute. That's my name. Flute, did I spell that right? Yes. I hope passengers can read my scribble. All right, no need to insert my hand right now, that mate. <laughs> Dining car. Sonic Generations Attics. Oh, I, I'm nervous. It's the first day of the job duties. Working on the train. Working on the train dining car can't be so bad. Come on, flute. Shake it off. Slap. <laughs> flute. Did I just see you hitting yourself, M Mr. Conductor, sir? How are you doing this morning? Oh, ho, ho. quite all right myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. He's the murderer calling it right now. Uh, it's because you're- is that because you're a sweetie? <laughs> Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today is my last day of conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Yeah, he's definitely the murderer. I haven't seen any of this game, by the way. Time for me in the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on the retirement, sir. Thank you, my wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Bro, what a guy. Our shower's been on the fridge, so I'm excited to see the hotels. <laughs> I can see why your wife's excited. Jesus. All right. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working on the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open and see items I've received. Look over the menu carefully. All right. Let's look over the menu carefully. Chili dog ramen, chicken cordon, bleh. Okay, thank you. Why well, you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> okay. No, oh, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? This one. Ding, ding, ding! Glad you read that menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed train with all the latest gadgets. This train can re really handle anything you throw at it. We've had lots of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So, I need you to do anything in your power to make sure our paying guests are taken care of. Understood? Understood. I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad the sword man could rest easy. The doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Mm. Ah, yo, Amy looking fabulous. Wow! This train is incredible! What fascinating tech! That's my Tails voice. You're right, Tails! Oh, I can get used to staying on a train like this! What did you all expect? You know I always go out for my birthday party! The train's as elegant as you are, Amy. I can't promise I won't t take anything, though. Yeah, let's go, Rouge, my goat. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing- well, Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Rouge. What a cast of characters I'm stuck with. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Flute. You're sweating through your uniform. That's because I saw Rouge. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, ah, of course, sir. Ah, are you a pirate? Oh, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait till I announce everyone's roles to get food. Oh wait, Sonic, wait till I announce everyone's roles to get food. My voice is gonna change like 50 times for this. <laughs> Sorry about that birthday girl. Okay, that's a bit creepy, Sonic. 
I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You will join me, Flute, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. All right, I want to talk to Rouge, my goat. Hi, Rouge. <laughs> why, hello, you. Uh, why, hello, you two. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Uh, oh, wait, that's Rouge talking. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get you a ticket? Why am I? How forward? Let me fetch it for you. Yep, that's definitely a ticket. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? I'll come back a lot, Rouge, I promise. Wow, she's very polite. Very easy to talk to as well, yeah, but that's why she's my girlfriend. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the awkward silence. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may actually not be the best at... Oh wait, I'm, I'm blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can't speak. All right, let's chat to Blaze. We'll go through just in order. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual, bro. Let's go slay, slay queen. Princess, you say princess? If you don't mind me asking, where are you, vis uh, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. <laughs> yeah. Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this one more than my own, so I'll admit, I'm a bit excited, bro. Let's go. Slay queen, slay queen. Ho oh, ho, you don't say. I hope you enjoy your stay here, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. <laughs> Why can I not win with this group? Hey, Shadow, how's it going? Here. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Shadow. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Hmm. Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, n no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. <clears throat> That's the dare. Brr, so cold. <laughs> Flute, you're shivering. Do we need me? Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? Oh no, no, I'm I'm good. All right, Haley, how's it going? Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why certainly. Yeah, thanks, Amy. Thank you, Miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? That's what I'm saying. And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I am a girl who loves true crime podcasts. Oh, you're one of them, are you? Maybe <laughs> we should leave that to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. But the girl gets the birthday key, it's practically good tradition. Very useful, I'll use this wisely, thank you. Alright, hey Spear, how's it going? Can we please get your ticket? Of course. Excellent, thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Such calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. W wow, ninjutsu, that... Sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? <laughs> cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit smug. A bit too smug at that answer. <coughs> hey, Vector. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, as a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Maybe he's just autistic. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have, uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you, uh, speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around to see if it turns up. Ah, uh, that'll be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. All right. Hey, Sonic. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to see someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When when Eggman took over, I feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he THE Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have have fun now. Will do. Thanks. All right, hey, Dells. Can I get your ticket, young'un? 
Right here, sir! Oh god, my voice. Thank you. Uh, may I offer you some snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my sparkle gelatin. It's sparkly jelly that... What are you chatting about, Tails? No way! I bought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too! It's my first day and I was, I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Yo, let's go with buddies. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need a thing, just let me know. Thank you. There's someone on this train is normal. And Knuckles just hiding in the corner there. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Yeah, good job, Knuckles. I, I think that's a ticket. I don't really want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh! Okay, is that everyone? Is that everyone? What do we do now? Mmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. <laughs> flute, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Flute only gets one of those if they ask. Well, using gender-neutral pronouns, I respect that. Arm? Did the arm just kind of nod? <laughs> uh, actually, the train conductor wants me to have a whole plate. <laughs> uh, the train and I have worked together a long time. You have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! This looks really tasty, too. Alright, anything else for me to click on? Ooh! Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Can I do anything else with these? Can I talk to this guy again? Okay, this just could be the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we've spoken to everyone. What else can we do? There's something I've missed. There's gonna be something I've missed somewhere. That that looks important. What's this sticking out of the napkin folder? Oh, it's it's yeah, it's 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 uh Vector's ticket. What's ticket? And your inventory, Vector. Yeah, we've got your napkin, my guy. Why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Here, have a napkin. Uh, not a napkin, a lost ticket. Ah, there it is, my ticket. Thank you so much for you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss this murder mystery. Ho <laughs> old flute here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> okay, Victor. <laughs> Who made me both the microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my work. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles in the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this small group seems pretty capable on the room. And train? Assist flute should they need any help, won't you? Ha ha ha, to hear, you have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about making up the place, uh, mucking up the place either. This train state is art, what? This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everyone, uh, for everything else, please talk to Flute here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide we send you. You all look amazing. I trust you read the lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read aloud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder of mystery game, you all... One of you will be murdered. And the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required. For it's my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are the ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor's car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indoubtably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. You're both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Uh, hmm, sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, Rouge is gonna just steal everything. Vector, you're the butcher and Espio the poet, both out in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And what do we read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mosaying around with everyone. Did you get all that? 
Yes. <coughs> I'm dying. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. Ah, more than alright. Uh, you can help everyone else follow- wait, what? You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone says you the map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. Uh, the rules of the game are as follows. The murderer is amongst you. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but must not physically be present when the victim for- what? Must not physically be present when the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect the evidence through the train, use it to interrogate fellow passengers and figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle. Amy, you haven't got an hour. Uh, <laughs> so I think everyone is excited. Everyone to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Um. How thrilling I have goosebumps. Same! Ah! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Uh, shouldn't you should be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're just stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. Uh, this way there's very... Uh, there's, this way there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems though Amy's more excited about solving the mysteries. Anyways, what do you think everyone's doing? I'm oh, probably inspecting the stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Uh, do you know what their characters' motivations are, Amy? No, the law cards are confidential. No one knows about, no one knows but the person who received them. Yo! My backstory is that I was best friends with the flicky that decided to join evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. I wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh-oh. The train started moving! It's going so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? Uh, I'm slipping! Hold on! I, I can't! Ah! <laughs> no! Oh. We, we cr everyone's died. We crashed and every single person on the train has died. Ooh. Ooh. You're both awake. Yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Uh, seems we've been knocked off the dining. Seems that we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. The train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth of this experience. That's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others, Flute. Can you get the door? Of course. Hmm. Seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer! Let's find another way out. Uh, start looking for clues. Uh, I'll search you over here. Huh? I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have psychics. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on who a on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check everything uh, uh, you can around this closet. We'll show Amy, and uh, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Got evidence already. Got it. I want to see if I can save. Okay, I can't. <laughs> you do everything in your power to make sure our guests are paying. Our paying guests. I will take care of. Understood? Understood. Okay, yeah, flashback. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay, let's... Okay, I can save. Perfect. Uh, alright. Alright. Hmm. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some juice in the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic is really fast, as they say. But he was going so fast that he almost slipped on the juice. We slid into an old gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Hmm. There's a shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Flute! Look closely at this. Oh, it's broken. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. 
There's nothing a shelf could have fallen onto. I'm sure the damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. Now, I feel like this is important. We should log it. <clears throat> How can the shelves add to your inventory? Okay. Right, there's Amy. Anything else I can investigate before talking to Amy? This bin. Something's always hiding in the trash. Let me check in here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. How did I become such an optimist this kid? It's not empty, though. Uh, oh, cereal. What do you think, Tells? Want me to cook any of this for you? When well, we get out of here, sure. Uh, I normally make a microwave meals I prefer to cook. My cast my cast iron skelet has got a lot of use of that lately. Well, I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. All right, oh, mop. What's this, a rod? Uh, smash, that's what broke the thing. Tip is broken, be attached to something. I'm not sure if this is related to our mystery, but keep spinning around. Stick is added, no, it's, well, it's, it's, no. Tails, it's, Tails, Tails, the stick was used to break that. Okay, hey, Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? Well, I found a spoon. We have two more we can dig. If we have two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. Start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck here just like the two of you. What in the world would you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Hmm. Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Flute and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence I, att I attempted to escape. Or help me search for a way out. Yeah, 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 we do. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, it's the stick. Uh, why would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stick, the stick, the stick. How do I? What proves Amy attempt to escape? The stick, the stick does. The stick. Oh, it could be a handle. Okay, well she tried to. The stick. This one. Hmm, I'm not quite sure to give it any. Give it another try. Okay, well the 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 broken thing then. Hold on, I have to do it through this because it's silly. Some damage shells supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, tell us one now. Well, now we follow this train of thought. Her <laughs> train of thought. <laughs> How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So I have to explain myself? Well, you see, uh, well, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play lots of those on my phone. <laughs> sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove you're not grasping. Let's find the train of thought and come back. Like Sonic would do. Think, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, we're, we're playing a game. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> special stages. Okay. Huh. Whoop. All right, let's go. I have an idea. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around the shelf to fall, for the shelf to fall onto. You're telling me this train was kept, it was this well kept, and the damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, I, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick. What? Is that a, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? I do. I do. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 Let's go. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Ah, an idea. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say... Hammer. <gasps> Ack! This isn't a sick at all, is it? This is actually the hands of your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle 
Uh, and your hammer snapped right off. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, the music. Is this both of you said? I tried to get us all out with a hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups, so is it a lighter to carry around? I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble in, in uh, as a mechanic. Let's, let me let me see both pieces of your hammer. Just tie things up with a little elbow grease, and they're fixed. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should be the trick. All right, stand back! Shelf completely shattered, incredible. We did it, we're free! Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Wait, is that... Oh no. It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun! I'm finding out who this is at once! Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind! I'm exhausted already! That was really convincing, Sonic! S Sonic? Eh? <laughs> Buddy Numb can't move! W what are you saying? I don't understand! I just need rest! So Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hands on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or, or is it serious, Sonic? Sonic! Oh, no, no, no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down, flu. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying gifts are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So, I leave the, their care to you, Flute, my favourite employee. Surely you won't let me down on my the, this last ride. Ha <laughs> yeah, he's definitely the murderer. He, he actually, Sonic is just dead, and he's the murderer. Calling it now. I need to catch up with Amy Tails to get the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The Conductor's gonna be like Eggman or someone, I bet you. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And that's where we're gonna call it a day. Oh, but on the way out, oh, ah, uh. yeah, yeah, well, look at this place. Amy, are you here? I've looked around, I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone ahead. She seems really excited. D did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I pull this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes a nap a lot in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Alright. It's my job to keep an eye on you. Train will say I've got to watch out for after everyone. You just hang out with me. Uh, oh, you just want to hang out with me, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. How is everyone so great at reading people but me? Uh, as I said, the best detectives have psychics. I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, it's because I... Where's my law card? The last guy... Uh, the last guy to work with... The last guy to work... The last guy to work a case with me ditch our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. No, a proper detective without a back. I, did, I couldn't even read that says, You're varmints! <laughs> what are you doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that, Amy. Uh, Amy moseyed all through here and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long you keep that voice up for Amy. We're wondering if you could tell us. Uh. Where, what? I wonder if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Flute, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to. 
Well, uh, what the fuck was up to while we were all apart? Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. And that is around I'm gonna call it a day for here. We'll investigate the, the saloon next time. Goodbye!